right, all I'm doing is um, putting some brownish coloured paint. Uh, I've lightened it up a bit with a bit of white paint. And all I'm doing is just, uh, just stabbing it. That's all we're doing. Don't brush it, just stab it. Just to represent it being a bit deeper. And just dab. All we got it. Dead the same over the day outside section. Alright, what I've done now is built up the mounds to where the uh, viaduct goes. This is just to represent a river bed. Not some pebbles and just soaks it in there. We'll just put PVA glue down it. So give it a few days to dry rock hard and then we'll put the uh, realistic water in. Right, what I've done I'll just put some uh, green around the edges, this will tone down, it's still very very wet. Uh, you can see I've built the mounds up for the embankments. Um, this is just so the bridge can be, be removed if necessary in case of a problem. Uh, continued it down there. I say it all toned down. Uh, this is where all your reeds and that go anyway, so if there's a problem it can be, it can, it can be covered anyway. Uh, hopefully it should go like the outside section and sort of like blends in with it all. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. You never know where it might go. But I've just been looking on the outside. <laughs> there we go anyway. Well, what I've done, I've tried to uh, continue with the cloud. Um, this is the very, very first coat of the cloud. Uh, we need probably a couple more coats. And then you have the greys underneath and some greys inside just to give them some form of depth. And I just took them basically what, what these ones are. Um, so it's the sort of thing that it looks like. So that's what I'm uh, hoping to achieve here. Right, I've just put the first layer of um, realistic water in. Um, it looks a bit purple, it's just the way, way the, the liquid is. Um, it'll dry out. Unfortunately, the uh, liquid's gone round by where the water wheel is. Um, I thought I'd only put a little bit in, but I accidentally slipped. And now uh, quite a lot's gone in. Uh, that's obviously going to set hard, so worst comes to the worst, I'll just get a new wheel. I don't like the motor anyway, it's, it's too low. Or I might just leave it and just put the um, Woodland scene is doing another type of water but uh, gives you like um, the white water effect, like waves. Uh, that's going to go on, so I'm not really that bothered if it works or not, to be honest. I'm more, happy, more than happy with just the building itself. So, shame, but there it is. As I say, I'm just not happy with the motor anyway, so. Uh, so, it looks, it's going to take a fair few days for this to dry out. And then uh, I'll, see, I'll see if it needs any more pruning. Um, it's reacting well with the greens and that as long as I expect it to. But, uh, we'll see how it dries. What I'm going to do is put the reeds in on top of the uh, first coat of realistic water. Um, seems to be okay. I mean, there's a lot of work to do. Um, first coat just seems to seal everything. And then I'll apply a second coat. And then I've also brought some uh, realistic water effects as well so you get all the, the white water coming off the wheel. And from underneath the uh, 
areas. So, let's continue on doing. Right, I think that's enough reeds in for now. Just go and nail propping that. The screw just propping that one up a bit. Let the glue, glue grab hold of it. Um, I'll make sure there's no loose hairs um, on there. And I'm going to put the next line of realistic water on. Just make sure it's all nice and clean before I do that. So it will show up. Um, just have to wait there for it to dry out. Right, how I've done my clouds, I um, use white emulsion, put uh, one coat on first just to brush it in like circles, make it look like it's fluffy, and then uh, put a second coat on the same, let that dry, and then I get some grey paint, uh, sort of dry, bright, dry brush it in, uh, with sort of dark areas of clouds, and I'll leave that a bit not too fully dry and then I go back to the white emulsion uh, with like a wet like a wet brush a water, a water wet, wet brush and I'm mixing with a bit of white white emulsion to thin it down and then I just uh, go over it where the grey areas was just to blend them in a bit better uh, these ones are still drying I mean I will look like these ones eventually as you can see I mean they are still wet they are, I've got rid of that one I uh, didn't like it, let's go under the coat of blue just over it. That was a little bit crap, so let's go rid of it. Uh, again over the hillside, just darken the top of it. So make it look like the uh, clouds on the horizon. Again, just like what I'm doing here. It's at the base just behind the trees. Make it look like the clouds are coming over. That's uh, how I sort of do my sky. And this is, hasn't come out too bad at all. This corner piece. Just use a. Uh, I've just cut a, a drain pipe and put a piece of gutter in half. Let's put it down. Hold on. It gives you a nice, nice corner. I don't like sharp corners. The only sharp corner I've got is in the town scene. So you can get away with that in there. But all the rest. So uh, I'll took the corners out. It just blends in a little bit better. Right, all I'm doing is just pouring in the realistic water. Um, just very carefully, just dribble it round. I don't put too much in. I don't put too much in. Let's try and get the edges done first. It's uh, quite self leveling this stuff, so just leave it a couple of minutes at each time. Where you pour, I'm not going to too much in now. So the edges. Now I've got another bottle of this, I've bought another bottle. It's not cheap, is it? 16 quid a throw. And that's without your realistic water effects of 12 power 50. So it's not just hasn't been cheap this uh, this section at all. Just got the edges. As I say, it is self-leveling. It will find uh, bits that aren't flat. That uh, can, can pose a bit of a problem. But luckily, I've been all right with that. I managed to get the, the sand um, quite flat. It all poured, poured in. I had to use a second bottle, which is a bit of a. I haven't used much of it at all. Um, it's a shame. So, as I was just in realistic water, that's like £33. Let's just get that far. 
and the same with the 12 pound 50 on top for your, your realistic water effects it's, uh, it's quite an expensive um, bit, of, bit of sea water yeah? I mean, there's other ways you can do it you can use um, varnishes and stuff like that but I tend not to this is okay it's just a bit expensive but, uh, A good tip when you're using this uh, product, um, make sure it's room temperature. Uh, don't leave it in your shed or anywhere where it's going to be cold because it, it doesn't work very well and it takes a very long time to go off. I mean, I've used it at the room temperature and I've still had to wait nearly three days for it to go off in here. Um, as I say, this is only the second coat. As I say, it's been three days, so hopefully. This should be it, I don't want to write it in three days. Right, now we've done this, there's absolutely nothing I can do. Um, so I do decide to charge up the shed or whatever. Um, it'll create dust. That's the last thing you want settling down on that. So it'll look terrible. Um, basically, that's it. That's a quick view of the clouds, I've been having an hour dry. Not too bad. I got rid of that one. Didn't like it. So not too bad. Um, I don't know about those two. Just when I put the hillside on, I don't know exactly how, how high I'm going to go with it. Um, I'm gonna say you can always change things. So you paint. It's not a big deal. Um, it's just annoying that I've got to wait for this. Extremely annoying. It's just like taking forever. I can't believe how many weeks I've been on it now. 